and welcome back to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to talk about the Revit extension for wood framing walls and it is available to all subscription people for Revit Architecture Structure and MEP and what it does is it adds in framing for our walls for uh, wood frame construction. There is a few limitations. It does need some work I have to agree. Um, I'm not going to say it's perfect but it definitely is a good start and we'll show you a little bit about it here. Now the first thing I should point out is that I've already gone ahead and configured the framing um, properties for all of these walls ahead of time. Before doing this video I don't want to bore you with it um, and we will be doing a more detail uh, series for uh, all of the little um, parts of configuring this but I've already gone ahead and configured the information and then I've deleted all the framing. So I've literally deleted all the framing that I've created and the interesting thing is is that the um, extension I think it's through an external file I'm not sure where it's saving it but it does save how I want my studs to be spaced and how I want my headers and my sills and all that to be in here that allows me to actually delete all of that wood framing that you're gonna see get developed in a couple of minutes here and then I can actually reapply it and that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'm going to do a shift middle mouse here in Revit to just kind of get a view I don't want to select my foundation walls I just want to get a view like this and then I'm just gonna do a big crossing box like that and then I'm gonna go up to my new add-on tab here add in tab Go over here to extensions. I can either click this drop down and just do a single click on there, wood framing walls, or I can go to my extensions manager, which comes these all come with that one extension installation, and you have to you have to double click, double click, which is kind of not like Revit, but that's okay. And that calls up the wood framing walls extension. From inside of there, we can um, right click and swivel again I'll say right click so this is a right click not a shift middle mouse button or anything just a single right click to swivel that around and it's going to show you the framing uh, for all of those individual walls we can pick on an individual wall here we can pick on a wall anywhere the idea here is there's what I'm going to call the control panel here which is the different topics geometry okay which is going to give us some information inside of here studs and blocking okay and you know the stud information intermittent studs blocking information um, whether I want you know one row or two or how the spacing of that the profile of the actual studs that I'm gonna put in there okay studs and blocking then we've got the external framing which is the left limitation which would be this guy over here and then we've got the right side which is the far right then we've got the top plate and we've got uh, menu selections in here we've got bottom plate which we can pick off of there and then we can specify numbers and we can also go back here and use um, project active um, families instead but I find this is a little bit um, cumbersome and a little bit buggy so there needs to be some work on that so the idea is with each wall each individual wall let's pick this wall I need to go through and define the geometry or look at the geometry there's not much I can do in there studs and blocking define it external framing define how I want that to go top and bottom plate T connections openings okay when I click on openings there's one two three openings in this wall if I click on there there's my window three there's my door number one or door one I should say and window two for this vi display up here I can say current wall and that will show me an elevation of that current wall I can actually right click on that and swivel that guy around but probably prefer to see that in an elevational view so for openings always pay attention to what you're clicked on over here for the current wall for this particular opening you go in and define the king studs how you want that to go on the side the header information the configuration of the header information and then we have profile one of the header profile one are the two dark members profile two are these two lighter members strangely enough we have to say rotate for these two members look at our door here if I zoom in here with my wheel button and pan over if I take the rotate off of the profile one it's going to take these two guys here and turn them okay which is funny because 
it should be the other way around. To me, if you don't rotate, it should be like this. But you actually have to rotate that to get those those two plates to sit properly and those are the dimensions of those plates and again this extension is using your project unit so instead of saying half an inch it says 1632nd so that probably needs to get fixed okay now if we want to deal with this window we can either pick it off of here or just select it right here once we select this window we specify how we want the king studs to go how we want the header to go the configuration okay and the sill so header, funny again, profile 1 gets rotated, profile 2 doesn't get rotated, and that's the way our header works for that particular configuration. And I know that, you know, some people say, well, you know, my header type isn't even on this list, so we're hoping for some more selections off of there. So I can go back here at any time and view all of the walls. The idea is to go through each individual wall here, and it's a bit painstaking, and go through each wall and set up all of these properties. You can't do more than one at a time, although you can go in to studs and say apply to all walls. So this information, the spacing, you can apply to all walls. But other than this guy, you have to go through and define. You can't pick a bunch of walls and say all openings get this header information. Notice that this wall doesn't have an opening. I'm doing a right mouse click. So header information and sill information isn't there because I'm on openings and I'm selecting a wall that has no openings. So the reason why this is giving me um, fairly good information here is because I've gone ahead before this video and gone through each wall, studs and blocking, external framing, again, have a look over at your tabs, T connections, opening information. This guy over here, well, how come I'm not seeing any opening information? I haven't selected an opening. Okay, I need to go pick which opening. There's the window and there's the door. Okay, or I can pick on the window or pick on the door, however you want to do that. Okay, and you can again right click to swivel around. Okay, or you can say just current wall, which is probably the best way to do openings, and then just pick on the opening and then define the king studs header and sill. So you go through each wall and you can select the walls off of here. So what you do is you go in here and you select a wall. Okay, and then you go current wall, and then from there you go in and do your configurations. While I'm in current wall, I again I've got all of these tabs um, pertaining to that one particular wall. So now I've gone ahead through each one of these and configured all of these guys. Okay, also notice with top plate we want to rotate that to make that work. Okay, bottom plate um, or top plate you know we want to actually be double I'm not sure why that got left out and bottom plate single but we notice inside of here I'm gonna zoom in okay I need to say rotate to lay that plate flat same as up on the top if I don't say rotate for some reason it expects you to um, rotate those it's not really coming in under that configuration so after you go through and set this up for each individual wall it gets saved so you can then apply it by hitting OK and it'll create all that framing for you and then if you actually delete all of the framing in Revit and come back into this interface it's going to remember this information for each individual wall as long as you've gone ahead and set up that information so now I say okay I've gone through each individual wall with all of these topics and set up all of my information inside of here okay and then I hit okay and it's gonna go ahead now and build all that framing for me and there we have it we're back in Revit so it's back to shift middle mouse button to swivel it around so I'm not going to mislead you and say that it's absolutely perfect um, but it is uh, a great product it's got some great potential so it's got all my headers in there it's got all my studs my blocking my top and bottom plates everything's in there it's going to show up on my floor plan etc as well so we can do that but it does have a few issues here with different corners and stuff like that we're hoping that it'll get fixed but for the most part we do have uh, a great tool that is got uh, great potential and we're hoping uh, for great things with this new framing